Ladies and gentlemen, selling my third street barbell. Fierce Vida Seal. We we're putting together the Rogue Combo Racks. We've got a big competition, maybe the biggest local USAPL powerlifting meet in the history of histories. Um, so we got brand new equipment. We want to treat these lifters the best we can. Brand new barbells, brand new plates, brand new combo racks. And today we're going to assemble them. We're about 10 days out, so stay tuned for that. Live stream will be there. And if you're in Northern California or want to come to Northern California, February 4 and 5, come check it out. Um, let's get after it. I think it's me, Seabass, and Kyle. And we're going to try to put this together like Meathead Lego Builders. Fucking fantastic. I'm basically fantastic. done. Oh. If you could fast forward time lapse an hour and the one rag barely done, just one side. I watched home improvement season one through four at least three times in a row. You've probably <laughs> never seen a huff. Home improvement? Yeah. I've seen home improvement. <laughs> Give me your best Tim Allen. He's a little frazzled. <laughs> Lumberjack man. Little known fact, there's, oh my god, you're sharp. Oh, Little known fact, I believe Pam Anderson made her debut on uh, Home Improvement. She also made her debut in my bedroom. Bro, before she got a little, <laughs> a little too much surgery, she was a babe and a half. On Baywatch. Oh, was she Baywatch? I feel like Baywatch was maybe after Home Improvement. I swear she was like 21 on Home Improvement. You're too old for Pam, you know? He doesn't even know Baywatch. Like they I'm, know uh, me more. Yeah, I feel yeah. like I'm the uh, abandoned da dad. You're the what? The abandoned dad or whatever, you know? Oh, yeah. Like Wait, you, you, you inseminate and then I disappear. Whoa. That's what I did. <laughs> I built this and then I... You're, absent you're just, dad, absent dad. Absent you just yeah, the it. absent dad. Just use it for its features. That's like your son becomes rich yeah. and now you're and like... Then, yeah, yeah. Hey, like what's up? Gym. Like, you come here to train. And that's it. You told me Waterboy's dead. Yeah. You'd be like, Bobby, we could be like Tiger Woods and his dad. So we got the first one done. How first you feel? First one done, man. Uh, I think I'm sick. You know how to check for a fever? You are sick. Kiss my forehead. No, you didn't leave. Kiss my forehead. You're gonna get all of us sick. You ever kissed a forehead? Yes. Yeah. I like girls. I have one at home. I, I only I was like 97.8. I think it's just because it's hot out. You know, so I'm kind of like. And you have a sweater on? Yeah, but I don't want to take it off and then you bleach your head. And my you my head, head is like burn. sunburned. Yeah. yeah. Burn. Is it red? Yes. It hurts. It is really? It hurts. <laughs> I got a lot of issues. It's like patchy. Yeah, I'm sweating. I mean, I'm this hurts. Issue. That is. Numb. You know when your leg feels asleep and you do one of these or uh, the stranger? You know the stranger. It feels like the stranger. I like see about the stranger. I can't. You don't know the stranger. <laughs> uh, I don't know. Just look it up. <laughs> Just, you guys got to Google that one. No, you don't want. You it ever ever feels like that. that. You ever had like a delayed? Uh, like a sleep, uh, like that went to sleep. Oh, like a delayed one. So, oh, like yeah. you get up, you start walking, and then you're going like all the time. 10 steps, and you're and like, you're like, oh, you're like, what's going on? <laughs> yeah, and we have I'll hella, be doing one of these. We have hella stairs like, in the house. I'll be <laughs> doing the stank leg. Like I, I just go straight down, dude. I, don't <laughs> I feel yeah, it right here, though. I can't feel this. You can't feel that? No, uh, that's probably not good. No, that's I, not no, good at all. Chemicals on my My buddy had to go to ER last night because he swallowed the tab of a beer. 
No, so he has a thing where he puts his beer can tabs in the beer every time he drinks it. That's the worst. It's yeah, the worst idea not. ever. And what? it was ripped in half. What's gonna? So it's just oh my. So <laughs> what's the ER? For like superstition or some shit? Yeah. Yeah. So like, what's the win? Then? Uh, I mean, yeah. No, there's no winning. There's, there's no winning. Yeah. I feel alright though. It looks alright. No, it looks yeah. great. It looks good. So sport of powerlifting, as we know, right, is, is three attempts at the squat, bench, and deadlift. And now there's multiple federations. It's a very broken sport as is. Um, but also, if you're just a home gym owner, whether you compete or not, and we're trying to get the most bang for our buck, meaning doing the most amount of exercises from one piece of equipment, that's what the combo rack's kind of for. So if you compete in the USAPL, often the USPA and other federations, you're going to end up using one of these. So Rogue made, like, the most beefed out, trend out, winstrolled out, Diana bowled out, version of one of these guys um and that didn't take us too long what hour and a half each maybe probably about an hour and a half each of these three of us knuckleheads who are i would say uh if i was gonna say if T tim allen home improvement is like a 10 out of 10 right i'm like maybe a five and a half like I, i'm not not handy I'm, I'm slightly more handy than probably the average dude my age but i ain't you know, so we've got face savers to light this thing, whether you want to bench or squat. Typically, I don't recommend dumping squats in this because sometimes, depending on how they're built, can flip the machine. But with benching, for sure. And then with squats, as long as you don't dump the bar and you set the height properly via this, you could set the bar and probably rest it. It will hold the weight, but it won't hold the dump. So you never want to dump the weight, whether you're alone uh, or in uh, a competition. You always want to keep the bar on you, in your hands or on your back, and lay it into one of these guys. So setting this at a proper height will be the safety measure. We got a fat pad here. We got a little ball the front, so they're all backwards. But it's okay. We got a fat pad. They just make them a little bit thicker, and the grip matters a lot. If you're trying to get into a really proper bench position, sometimes you're pushing your legs this way using leg drive, and you're really driving your traps on this thing. Having this a little bit stickier, which actually Rogue does pretty good, um, helps a lot when you get heavy loads and you're trying to push yourself this way. So if you're trying to squat, these are the adjustable arms. And the benefit of all this is if you've been to a commercial bench or any other bench, these don't move. And so sometimes this is set to an unsafe height and an uncomfortable height. If I'm trying to bench, I want to keep my back kind of tight, and I'll have to unrack it if this isn't variable. But with these, the beautiful th I think we're a little close to the wall. Oh, no, I should be able to do it. You can crank this up and change your height depending on where you want to go. Right, so if I'm benching with Kyle, who's 6'5", we can get it up here. Then when it's my set, even with load on here, because of this levers, I can lower it for someone short like me and this height. And same thing with the squat. So we squat out of this clip, bench out of this clip, and then these things just pop off and hold it in between. To squat, it's very simple too. You just unclass these guys. It gets a little heavy, but you just unclass these. And you can pull this whole bench out, and then now it's just a freestanding squat rack. These are for your spotters and loaders, obviously, if you're trying to bench. You get a nice lift off, very sturdy, very big plates compared to a lot of different companies. Um, and that's kind of the basics of it. Super comfy, super overbuilt. Um, we have some uh, flanges here if you guys want to push it into the ground. We don't because we run competitions, so we have to move this thing around. We obviously organize the gym in different spots, so sometimes we'll be moving that around as well. Um, but that's basically it, man, the Rogue Combo Rack. Uh, I believe it's IPF approved, which is the most strict federation, so it's pretty much legal in every powerlifting federation that I'm aware of. Um, and we're stoked to have two of them. Hope you guys enjoyed that little put-together review of the Rogue 
combo rack. 